Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie and I am the knitwear designer behind Twin Stitches Designs. Today we are December 19th and I'm so excited as always to be coming back to you guys. Now if you haven't already make sure you click that like and subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any of my fun videos. I usually absolutely love to share um, all of my knitting, my makes, new designs, and right now we currently have some Vlogmas videos. So if you haven't checked those out yet, um, make sure to head on over to those. They're really fun. It's just kind of going over what we're doing around the holidays, opening up some advents, um, doing fun things with the girls. So all of that is here on YouTube. And I just want to say a huge thank you to any new viewers and, oops, I just hit some pens returning viewers um, for checking out my podcast. I hope you guys all love and enjoy. I have a ton to share with you all. It has been over a month since I have last podcasted and there's a little bit multiple reasons for that. The first reason is that um, we were all terribly sick. Um, I know I've said that multiple times. It's because of the daycare, the first your daycare with our children and it's just a, I find a rolling door of all different types of germs. Um, this time it ended up being a little bit more serious than before. Um, we did end up in the ER with one of our girls. Um, they both had pneumonia with bronchitis and then I also had an infection so we were really really sick and I kept the girls home for about three weeks from daycare to be able to recover, to finish their antibiotics. I didn't want them getting anything else on top of that. So it's been a little quieter than I would have liked, um, but that's just the reality of being a parent. And at the same time, I was very sick, so I didn't have a ton of energy to obviously sit down and podcast with two crazy, um, beautiful children, but that's just the reality. And the other part is because I've been doing Vlogmas, so definitely check those. They're really fun and um, I really enjoy vlogging and sharing a little bit behind the scenes and our everyday life with you all. Now, you can find me both on Instagram and Ravelry as Julianne Knitter and I usually love to link everything I chat about down below this video. So if you have any questions, please list them below and I will answer them as soon as I possibly can. I'm also going to be doing a fun giveaway at the end of this episode and announcing the previous episode winner. So, if you entered in that one, make sure um, you keep on listening, and if you want to enter, well, keep on listening to the end. First, we're going to go over some finished objects. I wanted to go over some of the finished objects that are also patterns that are currently released. Since we last spoke, I have released four different patterns. Um, it has been about a month, a little bit more than a month. Um, it, I have been quite a busy bee, and um, the first one is up is the Candy Mountain Cowl. This is a cowl that was a work in progress on the last podcast. It has since then been completed, released, and um, it's here. So I designed this out of Whitney of Moonglow in her advent, and this is main color in between each stripe is Cottonwood Breeze. You can get this one as well as all of my other patterns right now on Ravelry for 50% off. I'm currently having a holiday sale on my patterns as well as my two online classes. So if you would like any of those, use coupon code HOLIDAY50 until December 24th and that will give you 50% off. So this pattern, as well as um, all the other ones I'm going to share, are all 50% off. I really, really enjoyed this cowl. It is so much fun to knit. I knit this on a US 5, and um, it is just so much fun. It's double looped, which means that there's not a ton of ends to weave in. You just, you can tuck them in in the inside, and it creates this warm and cozy cowl where I created um, 25 stripes because I had 25 minis but this is very um, customizable because I use 25 it creates a double loop if you only have a 12 day advent you can use 12 minis and it'll give you half the size so you can loop it up 
and have shown whatever colors you use. I just really love this cowl. I love how it uses barely any yarn. For the fingering weight version, it uses approximately three to four grams per stripe. In the pattern, you have two different sizes. You have it for a fingering weight and a DK weight. So if you don't have DK weight and want it to go even faster, you can hold your fingering weight double, check your gauge, and kind of create a DK weight from that. But yes, so this one is available now on Ravelry. So many of you are knitting this with your advent patterns and advent calendars, so thank you so much. And make sure you use the hashtag Candy Mountain Cowl on um, Instagram, and I'll be pulling some prizes at the end of December. So that is the first finished object. And I knit it in the fingering weight. Um, it's just, I love it. I really, really, really love it. So yeah, so this was a work in progress on the last podcast. Um, the other pattern that was released and I never shared because it was a secret was a pattern collaboration that I did with We Are Knitters. This is actually a free pattern on the We Are Knitters website. I was so honored and I, I, I can't, I can't even. I have a pattern on the We Are Knitters website like that, just that, just that was like so incredible, insane, like I couldn't believe it. But yes, yeah, so this is the Cozy Home Socks and they are now a free pattern on the We Are Knitters website. So both of these were done. Uh, these were done in, I want to say late October, early November. And they are just really fun. I knit these out of Murray Fine, which is 100% merino. So these are meant to be like cozy home socks. Um, and I used ochre and gray. I knit these on the US 8, which is the needles, uh, the circular needles that we are knitters have. So I decided to use that, a fun 2x2 two two rib, and some, a little pop of color. You can knit any type of color palette you want with these. It's a lot of fun. Um, I think I sized these from children all the way to adults. I'm not 100% don't remember. Um, but yes, so I will link the pattern below if you want to download it. Um, and make sure you go and download that, even save it for later, so it shows that um, you guys are interested in the pattern and potentially want more patterns on the We Are Knitters website. So I appreciate all of your amazing support for that. So go and download, please, um, your free pattern today. And um, yeah, just it shows them that you like my patterns on their website. And hopefully, hopefully, um, I will be knitting more of those in the future. So available now. The uh, item that is finished is actually a brand new pattern. So this was the last pattern in the Coffee House Sock Club. They are now available all for individual purchase and included in the sale. So if you are were wanting to grab one or all of them, you can now grab them all in the sale. The last pattern was the Eggnog Latte Socks. So this is a really fun pattern. You have a little bit of a texture, cable, super cozy and comfy. So here's the pair. I knit these out of Vita Lifestyle and her Eggnog Latte colorway. And these with a heel flapping gusset, 2.25 millimeter needle, top down. And these are now available on Ravelry for individual purchase. So the entire Coffee House Sock Club. Absolutely love the texture and these are all done. I know I'd be getting questions about the sock blockers. They are from Etsy. I purchased them years ago but they sadly don't make these sock blockers anymore. Um, I apologize but yes so these were from Etsy a few years ago. Um, I think that's it for those socks but yes you can get them on Ravelry now. I love how wonky they look like just by themselves because that texture really hugs it in but when you put it on the sock blocker or your foot it just really um, really extends it love it um looking down at my notes the last pattern that came out was a holiday sock bundle collection i only have two of the patterns here the other one um is in my room because i've been wearing it i will put a photo 
right here. Hopefully I'll remember. It is a fun holiday collection I designed out of Knit Pick Stroll. Um, you can get all three patterns. I Holy. It's for $9 Canadian, but right now you get it 50% off. So I think you can get all three patterns for like $4.50 Canadian. Um, it's ridiculous. It's on, it's on a crazy sale. But you get three fun patterns. So you get this, um, this one. Which is really really fun. All the colorway names and everything for Knit Picks is linked in the um, Ravelry listing. This is, I call these my elf socks. We have Vintage Christmas and then we have the Holiday Star or Snowflake. I just love these colors together and how they really pop. I think this red one has been like um, the one that all of you really love as well. Um, so yeah, so they all have their little mates. And um, these are available right now on Ravelry. If you don't already, make sure you follow me on Instagram as well as sign up for my newsletter so that you don't miss out on these pattern releases um, if I don't have time to podcast for them. So yes, just really love them. They're fun, they're festive, they're simple, and they all three patterns are included as well as a German shirt row instruction and a heel flapping gusset. So for this pair, for the elf socks, it was a German short row. And then for the snowflake or star, this was a heel flap and gusset. So you get all uh, both instructions in the pattern. They were all knit on 2.25 millimeter needle, top down, which is the way that I knit my socks. So this was a fun um, surprise that I was able to get all of that released for you all for the holiday season this year. So if you wanted to go and snag that while they are on sale, use Holiday 50 and it will give you 50% off that bundle as well as everything else. We have been busy <laughs> and that's not all the finished objects. So. While I've been doing Vlogmas, I thought that it'd be really fun to create some hats and things for some really good palette cleanser. I have been a little tired of knitting socks constantly that I've needed kind of to shift and really give my brain a good project that is fast and easy and that I can accomplish. So there's two different types of projects that I finished and I vlogged all about them in my Vlogmas. The first is a hat from Knit Picks. This is a hat pattern that I just hold, held the yarn double, knit it up, and um, yeah, I didn't really, I didn't come out with a pattern or anything. Knit Picks sent me two brand new yarns. This is called their Upcycle Alpaca Blend, which is a worsted weight yarn and is in colorway Biscotti, which is 219 yards per 100 grams, and it is 33% alpaca, 34% wool, 33% acrylic. So this is the first one. I absolutely loved, loved working with this yarn. And then the second one that they sent is their Upcycle Surrey Alpaca, which is an Aran weight in the colorway Contuta for 109 yards per 50 grams, and this is 100% Surrey Alpaca. Now, typically we see Surrey Alpaca in like a lace weight. This one was so incredible. This was in an Aran weight, so pretty much a worsted weight. And then I decided to hold both of these double together. Because I love the colorways together. I thought that it'd be really nice, and I was curious to see how it would knit up. And this was the finished hat. I cast it on, I think, with a US 10, and it's just a super fun, a super fun hat for the winter, and I absolutely loved it. It took me about three hours, under three hours to knit from start to finish, and yeah, it was just a lot of fun. I knit this, I want to say it's a US 10, and then I just did plain stocking up, just because I knew with this type, together would not show any type of texture because I do have a two by two rib that you can hardly see. So I knew from there it was just going to be plain stockinette and a nice beanie. 
Now I was hoping that I may have had enough for a second one. I know I definitely have enough of the, the brown, but I don't think I have enough of the Surrey. I would have to measure and weigh it out to see exactly how much, but I do know this brown. And I could potentially knit up Eric a fun hat with this brown leftover. I love the twist on it. It's really soft, both of these. Um, I will link them below to the Knit Picks website if you are interested in snagging this fun um, yeah, yarn. Now I'd like to take a break to talk and thank our sponsor for this video. Experience creativity without the clutter. No more digging through bins and boxes to find that one specific tool you need for a project. Create Room has made it their mission to combat obstacles to creativity and help people spend more time doing what they love. Their dream box, dream cart, and cubby and sew station give you the ability to organize all of your tools and supplies in sight and within reach. Create room for your creativity, talents, and hobbies. You deserve this. Visit createroom.com or find them on Instagram at createroomco. Right now, my listeners save big using my coupon code, Julianne Knitter Gift at checkout until December 21st for the Christmas sale. Thank you so much to our sponsor, Create Room, for sponsoring this video. We really appreciate it. I wanted to share the next hat pattern that I finished. This was really, really fun. It was a kit that I received from Missy Farms. The box came like this. Ugh, our, the postage was not very kind to the box, um, sadly. So this one, again, I vlogged all about it and this is what I ordered, the Muffy hat. They have these knit kits on their website. They asked if they could send me one and I said absolutely. And I picked this hat because I wanted to try out their yarn for the first time. I didn't want to invest in a whole sweater, but I thought a hat is perfect because you get to test the yarn, really try it and work with it. And it was amazing, let me tell you. So it was a bulky weight. You got everything you needed in this kit. You got the yarn, the needles, the pattern, the tapestry needle, every single thing item that you needed. So I really, really enjoyed that and vlogged all about it. And the needles are really good quality as well. They are Addy needles, which are amazing because then I can keep it and knit other bulky weight hats with. And the needles were a nine millimeter needle. I decided to follow the pattern to a T and the yarn that came with it was 100% organic finish sheep. And so this is their logo. And this is the hat. I decided to knit it up exactly to the measurements and um, there it only comes in one size but it can really fit anyone. I decided to gift it to my husband. Like, you are not going to be cold in this hat. It is absolutely amazing. It's comfortable. It was, the yarn was amazing to work with. Really, really nice. Um, yeah, it knit up in a breeze. Uh, I knit this one under two hours and I actually timed myself in a fun vlog um, while knitting it up and sharing the process. So it's a two by two for the entire, entire way. And then I just flipped it up and you can wear it. I would highly recommend these knit kits. Um, yeah, it, it was a joy. I would definitely want, an want another skein and another color to make a hat for me because I really, really enjoyed it, so. This was one of the projects I finished uh, last week while I was taking care of the girls. This was really a fun and easy project I could easily put down. Um, I do love those types of projects exactly like the hat where 
it's so mindless that through all of the craziness that's been happening, it was very simple for me to do, easy for me to um, know exactly where I was in the pattern, so really, really fun. I do think hats are great in that way, that you can use up yarn, you can, yeah, get them fast and done. The last finished object is actually something that I had not started, and I am very surprised. I'm still missing, I'm thinking of, of, of putting in some pockets, but I have started and finished my amazing cardigan. So this is a yarn that I had received a while back and I kept telling you all that I couldn't wait to cast it on, I couldn't wait to cast on this sweater, and I'm so excited to tell you that I cast it on and finished it. Um, I just have the ends to weave in, I need to block it and then add my pockets. So this yarn is Manchalope and they come in these beautiful plates. I got the yarn from Montrigo in Quebec, so I will link them um, in the description if you're Canadian. It's a really, really affordable yarn and it's incredible to work with. You work with the two strands held together and it creates like this, this weighs nothing. This sweater weighs absolutely nothing. And this, I knit this flat. So I knit the back piece, bottom up. I knit the front pieces. I seamed it together, then picked up for the sleeves. And then I picked up for the button band. And then I'm going to be sewing in some afterthought pockets. Really nice big pockets here. And I'm going to be designing, I think, even another, a second version with a fun big shawl collar and a few design, a different um, design elements. But yeah, so I am still needing to write up the pattern and send it to my tech editor. Once that is done in the new year, I will be asking and making a call out for test knitters. Um, all of my designs are size inclusive, so that means that I usually take from an extra small all the way to a 5XL. So if you are interested in test knitting, I will put the link to my ear burn list, and when the test knit call is ready, I will um, put the call out there as well. So I loved it. I knit this on a US 9 for the ribbing and US 10 and a half for the body, so it knits up quite like you can see, through a, a month, a month ish, like three weeks, I want to say that this this entire cardigan was done, and it it barely took any time at all. So I'm still needing to finish up a few things, write up the pattern, and then it'll be ready for my test knitters. Probably, I would say, early to mid January. So make sure you take a look out for that one. I use two different colors. I use the gray. And then I also use the um, white for all of the accent. Really fun, thick ribbing. So this is probably one of the designs that I'm the most proud of just because of the way the construction and that I was able to finally get my idea out onto a pattern. I have been dreaming of a cardigan like this for years and to actually have it in my hands is such an incredible and overwhelming feeling. Um, yeah, so I'm very, 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 very proud of this cardigan, and I hope you are all excited as well to knit it up, and um, I'm hoping to get this out to you all by March and April. That's my goal, that this pattern will be out by then, but if you want to test it out for me, um, apply or just put your name down below for the ear burn list, so you'll see, like, it's a Ravelry group, you just put your name, and then I, I just... I send out a notification to everyone in there um, for you to be able to apply for the test net. That is everything that I finished. Uh, I know it's quite a bit and I'm really, really excited about everything that I finished and I'm also working on a few little things. So let me show you all the works in progress. For my works in progress, I don't have many because I'm currently working on a few little things. I am currently working on this hat. I've had to take a small break from it 
just because it's it's just it's not working. I vlogged a little bit about this hat. So this is a Amelia hat and um, I knit a few of these up last year and I had the same issue where my let's take it a step back. I'm knitting the Amelia hat and I'm using Hobie yarn in this brand new um, peacock yarn. So it's a fuzzy, so it's 100% polyester. Um, it's a bulky weight yarn, 100 grams for 65 meters, which is 71 yards. So it's this beautiful fluff. Absolutely love it. So crazy soft, it's ridiculous. And then for the hat, so you first knit up the uh, liner in the inside, and then you knit the outer layer and attach it on. So for the outer layer, I'm knitting up with Hobie Friends on their worsted weight, which is called for in the pattern. But the issue that I'm having is that I am knitting up the hat, but the back side here, I don't wanna to give too much away with the pattern, but you knit up the hat and then you knit back and forth here and then you are knitting up on the sides. The problem that I'm having, no matter if I'm adding even extra stitches, it's just not aligning itself. So I would have needed to add like, I don't know, like 20 to 30 more stitches. I'm wondering if the gauge here is just too tight. The last time that I knit this up, I had that issue and I held a worsted weight with a mohair and it gave me a bigger gauge and I think that's my biggest issue. So I am thinking of just ripping back here because this is where my issue is. It's not the hat. It's, it's more of this location. And um, either seeing if I have a mohair I can add in or even just holding it double or I've increased the needle size, but still the gauge is gappy. So it, it's, it's been in a timeout a little bit. Um, and it's so sad because I'm, I'm almost done. Like this hat is almost done. Um, I just really need to figure out that gauge and that's why it's kind of been on a little hiatus just because I need to figure that out first before I continue. I ripped it already um, out twice. It's my third time working it up and I still, still didn't work. So that's okay. We, we put it in a timeout and when we are ready which I think I am. I'm just going to sit down and watch some little mindless TV, but it fits the girls perfectly. It, it stretches out and it's so warm and I love these hats and I'm currently wanting to make them each a hat as well as me and Eric, but I just need to figure out this portion here. So hopefully by the next podcast, these should be done. I just need to figure it out. Again, I just need to sit down. My brain has been too busy with everything else going on that I just need to clear up and today is the first day that the girls have gone back to daycare after three weeks so it's allowing me the time to really do these things and get um, things done admin wise as well as um, knitting wise so I'm really excited just to sit down rethink it and hopefully actually get it done by tonight I should do this I should get it done it's so close but yes I really love these I will link the pattern down below it is not one of my patterns um, I test knit this for Joan last year, really loved it, so wanted to make some more this year. And I will just put these on the side. There's not, they're not in any bag, they're really just in my basket. The other project that also took a small little break is my Candy Mountain Cowl. I had cast on a Candy Mountain Cowl, which was the plan for December and the Homespun House advent calendar. But this quickly took a break um, once the curls got very sick. Uh, I think it was December 3rd or 4th, that's when we went to the ER with Chloe and things got very, very stressful. My mind just wasn't in a place to knit and it wasn't, um, yeah, it was just, it, it, was a, it was a hard time. So it went in a break but I'm thinking of picking it back up. So I decided to use up this skein of a homespun house on her sparkle base. And um, I'm not 100% sure on the color we name. Shared this in Vlogmas. And then I'm just using 
that as the main color and then all of her minis. So I finished day one, day two, and I was on day three. And that's when kind of I everything kind of stopped. So I still have all of the minis. I want to finish it and I want to continue it, but I think I need to finish the other things on my needles first because I can only focus on one to two things at a time. And yeah, so it's, I love it. I love the Candy Mountain Cowl. It's one of my favorite patterns that I've made, but I just, I wasn't in the mind space at the time. And I think <clears throat> as the days went on, it was, it was more, um, oh my gosh, I'm five days behind. I'm six days behind. I only, I'm on day three on the cowl, but we're December 19th. So I do know that I'm quite, quite behind. I know I could catch up, but I'm currently working on something else that is taking up all of the joy from me. And I'm so excited to share that. So this is the Candy Mountain Cowl. I also have a cute little tiny progress keeper that was from a kit from Molly. Come on, buddy. Oh, there we go. Look at that cute little guy. And yeah, so this one as well is just in my beautiful basket and waiting for me to pick it back up. But I absolutely love Molly's yarn and her advent. Um, it's really, really beautiful. So I am hoping to continue that cowl maybe in the next few days. Who knows? Not making any promises on that one. The last active work in progress that I have is a brand new design. I have this in a Jenna Rose tote. These totes are my favorite to have around the house. I love them. I love having all of my hand knits in them. They are amazing. And I am using two yarns held together. This is Camp Fiber Yarns, who is Laura. This is on her Almond Milk, which is a, on a Vibrant 80-20. 80% superwash merino, 20% nylon, and this is called her pressed flowers on her Surrey alpaca, which is 74% baby Surrey alpaca, 20%, 26% silk. And I am holding these two yarns together, which I'm obsessed. This is going to be a brand new design. I am designing this bottom up, um, a brand new sweater. I've also had this sweater idea for a while and I've just cast on I, I want to say like two three days ago and I've already knit close I would say four to five inches and it's knitting up beautifully I love the way that these colors are working together and this Surrey is giving me oh, like the colors in there are just delicate and beautiful and with the almond milk it's amazing. I'm knitting this um, held double so it's a fingering weight with a lace weight and I'm knitting this on a US 8 for the body and a US 5 for the ribbing. I really wanted that ribbing to hug um, for the design that I have in mind and it's really I'm so excited to share more with you all. I have, I'm still on the first skein of each of these and I will be alternating once I get a little bit further. I will then be alternating every row to every two rows with a new skein to make sure that you don't get that big color, color block. What happens if you don't alternate your skeins? It can happen that one skein is more saturated and has way more speckles than the other. That's the beautifulness of hand dyed yarn. So to avoid any of that big gap where you can see, oh my goodness, she changed the colors or skeins right here. I can see that line. You start maybe halfway, three quarters. You start alternating your rows. So you'll do one to two rows with these and then you'll do one to two rows with these. So then it blends it out a little bit more and you don't get that harsh line so that you can knit them and it looks more cohesive and um, better. But I absolutely love. And the Vibrant 8020 from Laura is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite fingering weight bases. It just knits up so, oh, I, can't, I can't. I love it, I just love it really, really do. 
and I love that it's just right now it's just plain knit around and around until I get close to the sleeve and um, yeah really excited I'm not gonna share more than that about the design I have everything mapped out everything about the design I have it sketched out everything that is going to be I know exactly how it's going to look and I told Laura this is how it's going and she's also so excited so I think it's making me more excited and I'm hoping within the next um, two three weeks that sweater can also be done and um, off of my needles so I'm really really excited and it's just in this beautiful tote that's all of the patterns that I'm actively working on I do have some more that are just works in progress and they are put away in timeout but those are the ones I'm really working on that sweater right now and I definitely want to pick up the hat pattern I definitely want to pick that one back up I also have a fun pair of socks on the needles that I sadly cannot share it is a secret but I'm also working on a pair of socks I want to share with you all some acquisitions so things that I've received in the mail first wonderful package that I received in the mail was from Tyler of Arcane Fiberworks and he had sent me a message asking if he could send me a package to try out his yarn and I was very very excited um, to receive a wonderful package and I can't wait to share all of them with you um, the first one I fell in love with and I think this is going to be the first one I'm casting on I can't decide if I want to make a fun bulky weight hat or even a pair of bulky weight socks. This is in his colorway First Frost, which is 100% merino, and I just love these colors. This is my jam. This, this is Julie in some colors. I really love those browns and grays and blues. Really love it. Absolutely. And he sent me another bulky weight. So this one is called Down to Earth. I could see this for Eric or even the girls. Really love these colors. So both of these are on his bulky weight. And he sent over this one on a DK weight. So this one is called Autumn Drive. And it's an 80-20 DK weight, which is perfect for some socks. Really pretty autumnal color and then the two last ones were fingering weight and this one is called blazing birch and silent night and again these are on a merino nylon 80 20 um silent night oh my goodness i love the grays and blues like so pretty so so pretty probably these two are definitely my favorite like I love those types of neutral e colors really love it and then this one is called blazing birch really pretty so yeah so I think I'll be casting on I think a hat um I've been really enjoying these bulky weight hats on my needles and uh, yes, I think I will cast on a fun bulky weight hat, potentially for both me and Eric out of these, or even some gifts for Christmas. Christmas is on Sunday, bulky weight hats like are done in like two hours. So thank you so much, Tyler, for sending these my way. I really appreciate it. And I'm so excited. I might even put um, one of these in the giveaway pile. The next package that arrived is actually a few different ones. Um, in the Patreon group, we have the Amazing Dyer of the Month, so I do want to mention that we have the December Dyer of the Month, so you, if you are DK weight tier and up in our Patreon group, you can snag one of these socks sets and purchase them for that month. And starting in January 2023, we will actually have two Dyers of the Month each month. One of them will always be in the U.S. and the other one will be international. We have some incredible dyers from all over the world. We have some from Canada, Australia, UK, France. Um, I'm trying to think other places. Like, it's crazy. The incredible lineup of dyers. You do not want to miss this. They are creating custom colorways for the Twin Stitches Designs Patreon group. Exclusive to us for the entire month. And they are designing these just for us. Now, 
For the new year, we also decided to change things up a bit. For the 2022, I had said that it was going to be a sock set. Well, it turns out that next year, I've opened it up to the dyers to be able to offer, if they want a mini skein set, a sock set, or even just an exclusive colorway. So that if you really love that colorway, you're able to order a sweater quantity or anything you like from that dyer from their shop. As always, the dyer always has 100% of the profits. It's really just a fun perk to be in the Twin Stitches Designs Patreon group. So if you're not already a member, I would highly encourage you to come and join, especially for January. We have so many things planned for the new year. For the month of December, we have this beautiful um, sock set. So it is the Snowball Fight. Um, and then we have these two minis that go with it. So it's from New Garden. And you can only get this if you are an active member in the Patreon group, DK Weight tier and above. So this is the yarn of the month for December. So pretty. For January, we are starting, we have two, my feet are fall, falling asleep here. Um, we have two amazing dyers. So the first dyer is my friend Heather of Craft Nut Yarns. And she designed or dyed up this beautiful, beautiful colorway. Um, which she called her Twin Stitches Designs sock set. So she will have this available for Patreon members only for the month of January. So pretty. I cannot wait to see how this knits up. Really, really pretty. So this one will be available in Heather's shop. I will also link it below in case you want to check out um, all of her beautiful colorways that she has. So this one will be available January 1st for Patreon members. And the other sock set that we are going to have for the month of January is from Nicole of Nicole C. Mendez. She has designed this sock set called Celebrations, which is on her soft sock. 80-20 blend. Isn't that fun? And I love how these are completely different. So depending on your style, what you like, the colors, I really love that um, you really have an option every month of two different dyers to purchase. You don't have to purchase from them, but it's just another way to be able to shed some light on some small businesses and um, to be able to help support other makers. So these amazing sock sets are going to be available to purchase in January. Starting in December this month, we also have a fun perk that is brand new that each month we are going to have one small business where we are going to have an exclusive coupon code to their shop. So that is Patreon members only. I think that's worsted weight tier and above. Um, and this month it is Nicole of Stitch Below. She creates some incredible bags and I will also link her below. And we have an exclusive coupon code in our Patreon group if you want to go and purchase some amazing bags from Nicole. I have one of her bags and I absolutely adore it and was thrilled when she applied for the small business. Um, so yeah, so each month we're also going to have an exclusive coupon code to a small business, a shop, that we can really help and support and spread the love. So these, we have some potter, like some pottery, um, we have bag makers, we have stitch markers, like all sorts of makers around the community. So I just love being able to spread the joy and spread the love across and helping promote other small businesses. And that is everything that I've received in the mail. I hope that you really enjoyed this podcast, and if you did, please let me know below. Um, I also have a fun giveaway. So for this episode, I am going to be giving away a surprise bundle of yarn. So this is going to be wrapped up just like a beautiful little Christmas present, and um, I will be sending it out to you. So just comment down below and let me know what do you like about this holiday season, what are you excited about for the new year. Um, for Patreon, what are you excited about? Like, what type of perks are you excited? So just let me know and comment down below. And you also need to make sure that you hit that like and subscribe um, to be eligible for that. And the winder, winder, winner of the last podcast, I will put the name right here 
If you want to send me an email at twinstitchesdesigns3 at gmail.com, I will get that package out in the mail to you. And congratulations. All right, friends, I will catch you guys again next time. And until then, happy knitting.